yeah, hope you're having a good day. Um, it's the end of August already, um, so by the time you guys are going to be seeing this, it's already September, and oh my gosh, what a miserable end of the summer it's been. Let's hope we have an Indian summer. Anyway, I'm sorry this is a little bit late getting to you guys, but I've been so busy with the um, clap and renovations and lots of other things. Um, we've got loads of exciting projects that are all coming to an end, um, which you guys will be soon finding out about. Um, but yeah, so I've been really, really busy and sewing has been quite far down on my um, list of things to do. But I have finished my clothes and I'm here to show you them. So this was the outfit that I made out of the sort of modern embroidery on glaze cut out fabric. And I made it for a wedding that I went to in Cornwall of um, a friend back in Yorkshire. Um, anyway, it was a couple of weekends ago and it was that scorching Saturday in London and it was absolutely horrible weather in um, Cornwall. It was such a shame. Um, and they had this beautiful marquee on this cliff top and we were meant to be able to see the sunset and we could barely even see each other through the fog and the rain. So um, it was a real shame. But it was a lovely wedding all the same. And I got to showcase my new outfit, which I finished on the train. Did all my hand stitching on the train because I didn't have time to do it before then. Um, and I think I was sewing it the night before as well. So it was a bit of a rush job. But here it is. So I'll give you a bit of a whirl. Um, so this is the skirt. And I don't know if you can see, but the skirt, this layer finishes um, longer than the lining. So there's a sort of see-through element to it. And I did the same on the top. So I finished the lining a little bit um, shorter than the, on the top. And I didn't line the sleeves. So I decided to basically um, go with being uh, modest. And I made lining for the front and the back of the um, top and also for the skirt. Um, so I felt much more comfortable and at ease that way and I didn't feel like I was going to be um, exposing too much. But yeah, it was nice to leave these bits unlined so that people could see the prettiness of this fabric. And I also did a cut edge um, hem, which I sometimes do on this type of fabric. Um, it's not ideal for when you start washing it, but I thought for the first wear it's actually quite cute and then I'll probably line it and hem it afterwards. But it's, um, yeah, it just it's just quite nice because it's so... Um, transparent it seems bulky to turn it under so I just left it cut and it lasted fine the only thing that went wrong is the fabric stretched so on the morning of the wedding um, I popped it I had to get ready quite early because my nephew um, was a page boy and I had to take him over to the bride's house by the time I um, got there my skirt waistband had stretched quite a lot I hadn't interfaced it I just mounted it on the lining fabric and um, yeah, it basically stretched like probably about an inch and a half to the point that it was too loose. So then I was f trying to find like safety pins and the old, like they were left over from the corsages that the florist brought over. So fortunately I found one and whacked one in, but it was a bit embarrassing, especially because mum was telling everyone that I'd made my outfit and then I would have to be like, yes, but I've got a safety pin in because it's stretched. Um, so I now have to take it in. I've actually just pinned it in now so you guys can see. But um, yeah, I've got pins in the back and I'm going to have to take it in. Um, so the, the skirt, so I haven't told you what the skirt is. The skirt basically is the skirt pattern from that Simplicity Vintage pattern that I made, um, which I absolutely loved. And I thought, oh, it'd be cool as a skirt. So I just made a waistband and pleated it. Um, I didn't make pockets because I didn't have time. Um, but I think that... Um, yeah, I think it's really nice, this skirt pattern, so I'll probably make a few more of these. And this is just the shift dress that I've made, and I didn't do the open back, um, it's just a plain um, back, and I didn't actually even need to do the little top neckline opening, so I've been able just to slip it on and off. Um, so yeah, it was really easy to make, so the only zip I had to do was my concealed zip in the back. Um, but yeah, I'm really pleased with it, and I think I'll wear this top quite a lot with jeans and things, and the skirt I'm going to probably wear in the winter as well, because it's quite thick. Even though it's a summery skirt, it is, I think it'll look quite cute with tights as well and a little jumper. So you'll be seeing more of this. Okay, so that's the first outfit. On to the next one. Okay, guys, this is the second. This is my little cropped sh shift dress top that I made from um, the Indian fabric, the really expensive one. Um, I absolutely love it. I feel like it's made up so nicely. Um, I've made a pair of ultimate trousers with um, a waistband to wear with it so that I'm not exposing too much flesh and it's got the little open back um, as well with buttons down the back like I did for last month's as well um, but yeah it's really cute really comfy it's a little bit stiff and it does mean that it kind of raises up a little bit there 
but I'm yeah I'm pretty com comfortable in it just moving around and things um, I didn't line it in the end I thought I might have to because it was a bit scratchy underneath but actually it's fine um, and it's softened up a little bit just with steaming it so yeah really pleased with it um, I that's my second cropped top with a back um, open back and I have done this video for you guys so you can see how to do it and we'll be releasing that really soon we're just doing a couple of um, photo steps for the pattern adjustments because I think that'd be easier um, to show you as photos but yeah it's really um, really simple and it's so such a nice little top to make out of our shift pattern um, and if you haven't yet seen it the waistband the trousers that I'm wearing this um, how to add that waistband onto your ultimate trousers that is now up on uh, the vlog as well so you can watch that uh, tutorial on there so this is my second make really pleased with it and I had very little wastage of that really expensive fabric so I'm really pleased. I keep saying I'm really pleased. I'm really pleased, yeah. Thumbs up. Okay, on to the next one. And this is the third. It's the box pleat skirt from my book. Um, gathered at the back, lovely pleat at the front. Um, yeah, this, I love this fabric. I'm really pleased with it. Um, it's so soft and perfect for this project. Um, it's made it really nicely. There's just so much enough weight that it drapes well. Um, and I'm wearing it with um, one of my Zara plain black knitted tops. But I thought I might make one of Tilly's Agnes patterns, um, Agnes tops with it, because I think that would be cute as well. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really pleased. I'm wearing it now with uh, bare legs, but I think I'll definitely wear it with tights. So I'm really looking forward to wearing this in the autumn. Um, yeah. Making nice clothes for the autumn gets you excited about the autumn. Otherwise, I'd be feeling quite depressed um, about the fact that it's the end of the summer. But now it's like, yay, I've got some nice new clothes. I'm looking forward to wearing them. So yeah, it's cheered me up. So yeah, number three. Okay, next one. Okay, guys, this is the last make. This is the uh, bodice block that I started with. It's the bodice block from my book. Um, so over at Vintage and then I've lengthened it and turned it into a dress and this was the fabric that I bought 20 meters of and literally within two days it was sold out um, and I'm now I'm really sorry that I didn't buy any more but I couldn't um, but I will keep my eyes out for more of it if it does come um, up and I'll obviously add it back but yeah this is such a lovely and unusual print um, apparently it was um, someone said it was from Topshop they'd seen a dress from Topshop so it's quite likely that that's where the fabric originally came from anyway so here's the dress I don't know if you can see but I've put a little um, curved hem there really really simple I just basically brought this the side seams down slightly a-lined and then just created a curve at the hem um, but yeah it's just overlocked and stitched over once and really simple there the little arms I'm wearing it with a belt um, and I think I'll definitely wear this a lot it's really comfy it's really easy it's like a shift dress really but just a nice to have a slightly different neckline um, and the fabric's got um, a sort of satin side to it and then it's got on the reverse it's got a more of a matte side on the wrong side I actually prefer the matte side I think but I've got a little bit left so I'm going to make a bodice block top so this basically is a top as well um, and I'm going to make it on the other side um, so yeah yeah really pleased with it so it's been a successful month of makes even though I was really rushing to make them um, apart from the fact that my um, my skirt stretched on the waistband, everything else I was really pleased with. I wouldn't have changed anything, um, so that was good. And I've already been collecting fabric for next month, so I'll be making my video to show you guys that soon. Um, but yeah, I hope you found this interesting. Um, do let me know in the comments if there's anything that you want me to, to talk about that I'm not talking about my make, so um, I'm always interested to hear your ideas. And until next time, I shall leave you with the rain and let's all hope we get an Indian summer. Yay. Okay, bye.